I went to prison for a number of things, uh, robbery, uh, possession of a weapon, uh, grand larceny. I was sentenced uh, to a considerable amount of time in prison and I spent that time there in my first year trying to find my way and continuing to engage in behaviors that uh, landed me in solitary confinement. And I just woke up one night in a cold sweat realizing that this is all wrong. The Center for New Leadership is the first and only uh, academic public policy think tank advocacy organization in the United States whose uh, primary staff are comprised of formerly incarcerated academic professionals. I did go to prison and jail and I started getting arrested at the age of 13. It was for an assault. The prison system, in my opinion, as it's operating right now in 2011, is a system that disenfranchises people and is used as a mode of social control and capital gain. I would say the key concepts that um, are and should be associated with the criminal justice system are what we call public safety, accountability, and I would also say um, rehabilitation and reconciliation. What we've been able to do is develop a methodology that allows us to take a much more holistic approach to both criminal justice and social justice simultaneously. Over 70 percent of the people locked up in upstate prisons come from seven to ten neighborhoods in New York City. What if we call for a five-year moratorium on prison construction and reallocate those funds to the seven to ten neighborhoods where the vast majority of the people who are currently incarcerated come from. What that really did, it really began to put prison issue, cast it as a social justice issue. The environment that exists today uh, does not exist in a vacuum. That it came as an evolutionary process of a particular way of thinking and a particular way of viewing the world that has now become a part of all of the institutions in America. When we think about justice, Sometimes your starting point is criminal. And if your starting point is criminal, then you can't never really achieve societal and human justice. In the past, criminal justice issues were primarily focused on the individual and making individual change. We've taken that concept and broadened it to include two other entities. So we say that within the framework of our analysis, uh, social justice and, so, and, and change, the theory of change, has to occur on three levels simultaneously. One, the level of individual transformation. Two, the level of community empowerment. Three, the level of institutional reform and change. We're advancing a new perspective, a new analysis on this whole idea of justice, and we're referring to it as human justice. As we at New Leadership, you know, we talk, we do a lot of policy work, and we do a lot of advocacy in terms of changing how the system works, and we'll shut down juvenile facilities and make sure they won't be expanded. For me, I think it's, it can't be about changing the system. It has to be about changing society. It has to be about changing human beings, because the system is not an abstract, abstract situation that runs on its own. It's run by people. So if you go at the root of it, which is people, right, then automatically the system will change. So I think it's about changing the minds and hearts and perspectives of the everyday person. The Center for New Leadership is unique because we think outside the box. I think we recognize that 30 years of tough on crime and rough on crime simply has not worked. We realize that we cannot incarcerate our way out of the problem. We realize that the criminal punishment system, as we refer to it, is not a fair system. It's not an equitable system. And our perspective is one that raises very serious questions about the way our society operates and attempts to provide a perspective to restore balance and so that every human being has equal access and can be all that they have the potential to be. Okay, Derek, so I'm gonna have you come in today. What time? Are we talking about? We've always felt, we've always thought, we've always believed that if we were ever able to acquire 
uh, the kinds of resources that we need, financial resources, uh, research, uh, additional personnel, larger space, that we would be able, that the, our accomplishment, our achievements would be enhanced that much more. Okay, um, I think we need to discuss things further, but I'm not sure. We'll just review your folder when you get here. We don't work for a paycheck. We work because it has to get done. We work from our heart and our soul, so to speak. We work because these things impact us. We work because it has to change, not just in our lifetime, but for our future. There's an old Indian saying to say, we don't inherit the planet from our parents, but we borrow it from our children. And working from that point in perspective, then this work is important, not just to people who've been locked up, but to everyone. Because you're affected by this, whether you know this or not. 